Welcome to our channel. Before we dive into today's video, let's explore the fascinating realm of Richard Dawkins and his atheism. Richard Dawkins, an English ethologist, evolutionary biologist, and author, has significantly shaped our understanding of evolution and emerged as a prominent advocate of atheism. Born in Nairobi, Kenya, in 1941, Dawkins delved into the world of zoology at Oxford University where the work of evolutionary biologist John Maynard Smith left a lasting impact. After completing his studies, Dawkins worked as a research fellow at the University of California, Berkeley, before returning to Oxford in 1970 as a lecturer in zoology. In 1976, Dawkins published his groundbreaking book, The Selfish Gene, which popularized the concept that genes, as selfish entities, are fundamental to natural selection. This critical and commercial success played a pivotal role in making the theory of evolution more accessible to the general public. Fast forward to 2006 and Dawkins released another influential work, The God Delusion. Here he boldly argued that the existence of God is highly improbable and deemed religion a harmful and outdated mindset. This book, too, achieved both critical acclaim and commercial success, contributing to the growing acceptance of atheism in society. Despite being a controversial figure, Dawkins' views on religion and evolution have sparked discussions among scientists and religious leaders. His notable beliefs include asserting that the universe lacks intelligent design, emphasizing natural selection as the sole mechanism explaining life's diversity, considering religion harmful and irrational, and advocating that atheists should proudly express their beliefs without fear. Dawkins, a prolific writer, has authored numerous books, essays, and articles showcasing his dedication to the exploration of science and reason. He has made appearances in television documentaries and delivered compelling public lectures, cementing his role as a passionate advocate for the intersection of science, reason, and the ongoing debate about religion and evolution. Join us as we unravel the thought-provoking insights of Richard Dawkins and delve into the realms of science and atheism on our channel. Be thankful that you have a life and forsake your vain and presumptuous desire for a second one. Richard Dawkins. I uh, tracing the one life we have, rejecting the illusion of eternal regeneration. In the vast tapestry of existence, Richard Dawkins, the eloquent voice of atheism, unfurls a perspective that challenges the age-old yearning for a second life. Dawkins, a proponent of reason and science, urges us to cast aside the vain and presumptuous desire for an afterlife, imploring us to be thankful for the singular life we currently possess. From the atheist lens, Dawkins' words become a poignant reminder that the pursuit of a second life is not only futile, but distracts us from appreciating the intricacies of the one we currently inhabit. Atheism, as articulated by Dawkins, is not a rejection of the profound beauty of existence, but an embrace of the fleeting nature of life, urging us to savor every moment and find meaning in the present rather than yearning for an imagined future. Dawkins, with his unwavering commitment to reason, dismantles the notion of regeneration as a comforting but illusory construct. The desire for an afterlife, he contends, stems from a deeply ingrained human longing for permanence, a reluctance to confront the ephemeral nature of our existence. Atheism in this light is not a rejection of spirituality, but an invitation to confront the reality that this life is all we have. On the opposing side of the spectrum, where religious beliefs intertwine with the promise of regeneration, Dawkins' perspective encounters resistance. The rejection of a second life, particularly in the face of religious doctrines promising eternal bliss, challenges the very core of these belief systems. The desire for regeneration is woven into the fabric of religious narratives, offering solace in the face of mortality and the hope of an existence beyond the mortal coil. From the perspective aligned with regeneration, Dawkins' words may be perceived as a denial of the transcendent promises that provide comfort and purpose. The rejection of a second life might be seen as a cold dismissal of the profound spiritual yearning that has fueled religious beliefs throughout human history. Yet as Dawkins stands firm in his conviction, the essence of his words remains a call to cherish the precious moments of our singular existence. The rejection of afterlife is not a denial of the spiritual dimensions of the human experience. 
but an acknowledgement that the richness of life can be fully appreciated when viewed through the lens of its transients. In conclusion, Richard Dawkins, the stalwart advocate of reason, encourages us to be thankful for the life we have and to forsake the longing for a second one. His perspective challenges the allure of eternal regeneration, asserting that the pursuit of meaning should be grounded in the present, free from the illusions of an afterlife. Key insights from the article, Embracing Life's Fleeting Beauty. Richard Dawkins, known as the voice of atheism, urges individuals to appreciate the intricacies of their current existence. Atheism, as articulated by Dawkins, is not a rejection of life, but an embrace of its transient nature. The emphasis lies on savoring each moment and deriving meaning from the present, rather than longing for an imagined future. 2. Dismantling the illusion of regeneration. Dawkins challenges the desire for an afterlife, viewing it as a vain and presumptuous construct. Atheism, rooted in unwavering commitment to reason, considers regeneration to be a deceptive source of comfort. Rejecting the concept of permanence, Dawkins encourages individuals to confront the ephemeral nature of their existence. 3. Atheism as a confrontation with reality. From Dawkins's perspective, atheism is not a denial of spirituality, but an acknowledgement of life's limitations. It prompts a confrontation with the reality that this life is the only one we have, fostering a deeper appreciation of its richness. Through quite four, resistance from religious perspectives. Dawkins's rejection of a second life challenges religious beliefs linked with promises of eternal bliss. The desire for regeneration is deeply ingrained in religious narratives, offering solace in the face of mortality. Dawkins' stance might be perceived as a denial of profound spiritual yearning within religious contexts. 5. Cherishing Singular Existence Despite encountering resistance, Dawkins emphasizes the importance of cherishing the precious moments in our singular existence. The rejection of an afterlife is not a dismissal of spiritual dimensions, but an acknowledgement of life's richness in its transients. 6. Pursuit of meaning grounded in the present. In conclusion, Dawkins advocates forsaking the yearning for a second life. According to Dawkins, meaning should be sought and found in the present, liberated from the illusions of an afterlife. In summary, Richard Dawkins, a staunch advocate of reason, encourages individuals to find significance and joy in the fleeting moments of their singular existence, challenging the allure of eternal regeneration. His perspective invites contemplation on life's richness without the need for illusions of an afterlife.